Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we customize a AP invoice approval notification. Okay, so let's see the functionality once. So what I'll do is I'll just try to create an invoice and send it for approval. And let us see the notification and then we'll understand how to be customize it. So I'll just create an invoice. Let's say X or a zero zero five twenty dollars. Yes, one ABC Bank. Okay, so I'll just enter the information for lines. Click on save and let's see what it says. Then calculate tax or validate. Click on validate. So, yeah, change the invoice amount to 21.90 and revalidate. I think it should be fine and click on distribution whether it's the distributions are auto populated or not. If they are not auto populated, let's create the distribution. Click on search and select any of the combination. Click on OK, save and close. Now again, click on invoice action and uh, validate. If the status is validated, then you generate an approval or you can click on approval and click on initiate. So this will invoke the BPM process and it will send for approval. So let us see the approval process. Now I'll just click on tools, transaction monitor, transaction console. And now what is the invoice number? It is XXORA0005 and let us see the status of it. Yeah, so. As per the setup, it should be auto approved. So it is still in process. Now let it finish. And now what we want to do is we just, our requirement is to modify the notification. Just click on this bell icon. And I hope, yeah, it's an old one, but yeah, let's wait. It is still not generated, yeah. So it may take a couple of seconds. Yeah, but let's wait. Yeah, it is auto approved. I mean, as per the logic, it is auto approved. Now just click on the notification. I think this user should have been received by now. Okay, yeah, this is the one, right? Now click on this notification and now it shows an output. This is called a workflow notification. And you could observe here, this is a customized notification, right? This is a customized template. So how do we customize? Let us show, let me show you that. So now whatever the output which was shown now, it is an output of a BIP report. So let us understand where exactly that is available. So first thing is you have to click on financials. So financial, then if you observe in the financial, there is something called workflow notification. And in the workflow notification, the logic which we are talking about belongs to AP invoices. So we have to click on payables and invoices. In the invoices, you have to click on invoice approval report and click on more and then click on customize. Once you click on customize, automatically the seeded report will be get copied into the customized folder with a similar path. Like uh, only thing is it will get prefixed with the custom folder then slash financials workflow notification. Now this is a standard notification. Now what we'll do is like uh, we want to modify the notification, right? Don't create any new template, okay? The only thing is just modify the existing template and replace the existing standard template. I'll simply click on edit, okay? Now let me open this particular standard template. Okay, click on enable. Enable editing. 
and uh, so I'll just change this particular one to a bold and then I'll say added by or a template change so I'm not doing any other business logic addition I just want to show you how do you modify the RTF template so I just modified the template now what we do is click on properties and just re-upload this particular template so click on upload so we are not creating any template at all we are just modifying the existing standard template and then make sure that you select the appropriate exact locale and overwrite it save it yeah that's it now what we do is let us create one more invoice and now let us see whether the latest notification template will get triggered or not so i'll just create invoice again so this time we'll just go with six similar data Validate. So it is thirty two eighty five. So I'll just enter thirty two eighty five. Now click on distribution and just enter the distribution also. Thirty. Now validate again. Yeah, it's perfect. Click on approval and click on initiate. So as of now, we have just modified only template and we have a functionality available to modify the data model also, but let's wait for that in the next session. So for now, let us see whether the latest template is invoked or not. This got approved and let us see the notification output now so let's click on this bell icon and let us see the output for the 006 so it's not yet generated but let's wait for that it is not yet received yet let's reload These are one. Okay. So here, if you observe, we have added this, but you know it is still reflecting the old template only. So it takes some amount of time to reflect the latest template. This was the old template which I designed earlier, but now still it is reflecting the old template only. So it just takes some amount of time to get you know like a latest template good to get affected okay this is all about you know how do we modify a template in the oracle fusion and in the next session we'll see about how do we design i mean how do we modify the data model so here if you observe for this particular report we just click on return and here it has a data model so you can just customize and you can modify the data model and you can modify the template and you can achieve the relevant functionality thank you